Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. Today we're on code.org, we're in Unit 7, Lesson 7, Project 1. It says, this program uses the state's library from the previous lesson. You'll need to finish the app by writing the code inside the new state function by using the functions in the state's library. And then it tells us that we'll need to pick a random state, set the value of current state to the state name, and we're going to update the flag on the screen to be that state. Let's go in and take a peek at what's going on within this code. Currently, we have a variable being created for the current state. We see that the new state function is being run. That's currently empty. We're going to populate that information. Then we have an on click, which runs the function new state, which we're going to have to build the code for. On this event, when we click the guess button, we have a local variable called guess state, which gets the information from this right here. It then compares the guess state with the current state value, which we're going to use a function to grab that information. If those are the same, it's going to set text on the screen here that says correct. If that's false and it's not correct, it's going to go ahead and set the text on that same area that says, nope, that's not it. So let's go in and look at this function section here. What we're going to need to do is we're going to have to randomly pick the state and we're going to have to set the flag image on the screen. We've been working with libraries, so if I click the settings icon here and select manage libraries, if I click state library, I can see that I have a few functions within here and it details all the function code. One of the functions that we're going to use is this one right here, random state. We can see that it creates a variable. It's going to pull information from a table and it's randomly going to choose one from that list. We're going to end up using this to complete our function new state. Something else to note is we are using a data set. So we have US states and the functions referencing this table. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to update our current state variable. So if we go to variables and we select this one, assign a variable. So that variable at the top, we're going to update that. And what we're going to use is that function called random state. We're just going to click and drag that into this section and it's going to populate this variable with the state from that list. I want to remind you that you should be commenting out sections of your code. This is good practice and something that you're going to want to make a habit of, especially as we're getting closer and closer to creating an app for the AP exam. Now that we've done that, we also need to set the image here. Within the function library, there's actually a function that pulls the state for us, and it's this one right here. So we're going to use this to set the flag. But before we do that, we need to go to the UI controls. We're going to go to set property. We're going to drag that down. What are we going to update? Well, this ID is called flag image. Right here, we're going to change this to be image. And then we want to replace this URL with our function. So if we do this one and drag that in, the last thing that we want to do is change this to say current state. And then again, make sure you're commenting out your code here. Let's go in and run this just to see if it works. So this state is going to be Maryland. I do want you to note that the answer is going to be case sensitive. So for example, if I type in Maryland and I click guess, it's going to say, nope, that's not it. But if I change this to be Maryland with a capital M, it's going to say that's correct. Now there are ways that we could fix this, but we're not going to do that today in this video. The important thing that you should be getting is feeling comfortable using libraries and incorporating that within your projects. When you're done, make sure you hit finish.